This is the most awaited video here on my channel, the best of the year. Yes, we're talking about the best products of 2023. Those that have launched this year, those new formulations, those products that they truly have blown me away. Now, do I stand by my monthly favorites? Absolutely, yes. I cannot really list absolutely every single product that I have really fallen in love with it, but I'm just condensing this list to the creme de la creme, the best of the best, the ones that really like, woof, these are amazing. Let's just start with the category that I'm sure all of you want to hear about, eyeshadows, and the eyeshadow that I'm using today is Natasha Denona, and what a great name, I need a nude eyeshadow palette because I have become a makeup collector because of the nature of my YouTube channel, my social, that I review a lot of makeup, but if I wasn't reviewing any makeup, perhaps I will step, what, I don't know, at Sephora and Nordstrom, and I just ask for, um, hello, yes, I need a nude eyeshadow palette, and th this is it. Not only has a gorgeous color story, but I love the ratio between matte shades, shimmer shades, also those wet eyeshadows, like the one that I have right in the middle, in the center of my lid. You have a really good combination of shades, and to me, if I will have to choose between all the eyeshadow palettes that I will be talking about today, I will still pick these as my number one. I'm not ranking them right now, but I will have to tell you, if you have been thinking about picking up an eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona, I will say go for this one. This is, to me, superior to the Viva palette. Close call with the Glam palette. Glam palette still needs a little bit more, I will say a little bit more neutral and also a little bit more cool tone. This has some warmth to it. If anything, I will have change or add to it is these two shades they are to me just a tiny bit closer i will have rather seen kind of like a neutral brown shade something in between these and these that has a little bit more warmth since we have these two shades also these two shades are uh, attached <laughs> too close perhaps one of these shades i would love to have seen it on this what kind of eyeshadow formulation i mean those are things that yeah I, I, nobody asked me for my opinion but there you have me this is to me the best release of natasha denona 2023 second eyeshadow palette huda beauty she always does it and her pretty grunge palette what an incredible palette beautiful formulas here no fallout i mean you have wet eyeshadows completely metallic shimmer shades the ratio again between the mattes and the shimmers and metallics is phenomenal. I love, love, love this color story. It's very, I mean, it's grunge, but taking it in another way. It plays a lot with plum tones, very dusty, lilac kind of tones, very deep and different. They are not your typical mauve tones. And I think I that's what I love about this palette. Not that I don't like mauve tones, but we have seen a lot in the past few years at any time that they come with an eyeshadow palette that is cool tone is very heavy either in the gray tones or on the mauve tones but centerpiece right here is these eggplant tones she also brings us some warm tones right here so it's a palette that is fairly complete something that you could do i have done several looks with this eyeshadow and you could definitely do everyday looks glam looks now, this formulation here, it's wow superior. You can use it as an eyeliner. If anything that I will have to say about this palette is I only wish that Huda Beauty would have bring also a brown, like a deep, cool tone brown shade, kind of like this on this formulation to, to eyeline your eyelids. I mean, that would have been great, but other than that, an excellent palette. In the luxury category, let's talk about YSL. Wow, 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 friends. YSL really came strong. The formula of their new eyeshadow quads is one of the most gorgeous formulations that you will come across in the luxury world. The creaminess of the matte shades, the beautiful mesmer, look, look at this wet eyeshadow. Mm, these are stunning. The matte shades in here, they do have a lot of emollients, making of this formulation one of the most flattering because it creates kind of like a soft blur kind of effect. Very beautiful. And I really love that they brought, again, these wet kind of eyeshadows that they just give the appearance like the eyes are, again, 
wet, they have some luminosity, but you're not full of glitter, of shimmer. You will not find fallout. I will have to say though, although the man eyeshadows, they do have a lot of emollients. I will say tap them lightly because you will see a little bit of kickback, but not too much that it will translate on fallout on your face. In fact, if you watch, I mean, most of my videos when I'm getting ready, you know, my friends, that I first go with foundation, concealer, everything, and then I go with eyeshadows. I'm like, yeah, that, that's my way to do it. And if an eyeshadow works for me with the way that I apply my makeup, then I'm like, okay, perfect. Then I can recommend them. The color stories that I love is, I think this is, Stora Dolls and this is Babylon Roses. To me, these two are, are just incredible. And also Casbah's, Casbah Spices, if you like something a little bit more warm tone. Another luxury new eyeshadow formulation is Prada, Prada Beauty. They just launched this year. If you have tried the formulation of the eye to cheeks blush um, eyeshadows from Valentino, this is that same formulation. Oh my gosh, it looks airbrushed. It looks even filtered. It's, they are non heavy and the pigmentations are carried through beautifully. And with these eyeshadows, you can create a daytime look. You can create a more a nighttime look with it. These are also refillables, which makes it super convenient because it's less weight. You can still keep the beautiful packaging from Prada, but let's give it to YSL and Prada for innovation on their new eyeshadow formula. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to say just Prada and YSL because <laughs> Let's talk about Hermes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. They really impressed me because, you know, when... I heard that Hermes was coming with eyeshadows. I was like, okay, well, crossing my fingers that they are the quality that I'm expecting. Not because Hermes doesn't produce really good products. In fact, they produce really, really good makeup. It's not that easy because I was thinking, are they gonna be more alike to the scoop do like very soft tones, not too much pigment. You know, sometimes we perceive certain luxury brands as they are gonna be classy but at the same time they leave you at that point like i cannot even build pigment well ahmed said no <laughs> not at all and whatsoever one of my favorite favorite cool eyeshadow quads is this one on fume it's so precious look 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 at this shade oh my gosh these shades are stunning and then you have your metallic shade these are just in another level of perfection. Not only they blend like a dream, but also you can build up on pigmentation and that makes it super versatile because not only it caters for those with lighter complexions, but that means that it will cater for those with deeper complexions. I mean, look at this gorgeous eyeshadow palette, Ombre uh, Mordoré 06. This is another stunning eyeshadow palette. This color story reminds me to a color story that Pat McGrath did a couple years ago. It was also an eyeshadow quad. Now you have your metallic shade, look at that. Also, another thing is how thin in consistency these eyeshadows are, yet they wear all day long. You're not gonna find any fading. I know that is extremely important if we're going for a full day of makeup or if you plan, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do a daytime look with this eyeshadow and then just it up a little bit with the metallic shades and create a more baba boom kind of look for the nighttime. This is what they do. And they do have this kind of like surprise shade, which is not surprising in terms of the color or the shade itself, but actually the finish. And they have so many color stories that it just makes me super excited. Like this one, for example, is an everyday kind of eyeshadow quad. They have blue, they have greens, they have the deeper tones. They have absolutely everything for everybody. So way to go, Hermes. Why is Ellen Prada? Now, this is not a new formula, but I have to talk about that. Perhaps this is one of my, I mean, like, Tom Ford. <laughs> Tom Ford can have an, you know, a full on video of my favorites because it's one of those brands that I can kind of go blind and know that I'm not going to be disappointed. And Hazy Sensuality, this eyeshadow palette, it's so beautiful. It's beyond a pink eyeshadow. Palette. It only has this pink shade, which is actually, in fact, a little bit more lilac in tone. It just creates 
the most classy, beautiful look. It's a very special color story to me, one that I do not have in my collection. Perhaps I do have certain shades that combined together will, you know, create an eyeshadow look that is completely elegant, chic, very feminine. It's truly a special. And also from Tom Ford, Lumière de Hiver. And now this is a new formulation. They have upgraded something here. Not only the matte eyeshadows are chef's kiss, there's a little bit of a reddish undertone to this eyeshadow that makes it very different to many of the cool tone eyeshadow palettes that we have been seeing during this holiday season. But they have been this, again, very wet kind of eyeshadow that it has some translucency to it, that it doesn't have fallout, it works wonderful, it's thin. I mean, like, even if you don't apply to its full capacity, I just blend it on my fingers and as you can see you can shear them out and it just creates this kind of very angelic ethereal kind of look to the eyes very flattering and i think that's what it makes so special this selection of eyeshadows that i'm showing you today is the ear formulations how flattering they are for those of us that we have more mature skin i'm on my fourth floor so i do have signs of aging fine lines um i mean all the jazz and i want formulas that they are flattering, that they will not emphasize my texture, my fine lines, you know, all my wrinkles and crinkles and all of that. Going next with an eyeshadow palette that I had to buy it a second time because I have a little mouse here in my house that likes to shop at my collection. That's okay, she's my daughter, but she actually doesn't even put eyeshadow on her eyelids, but I think Curiosity got the best of her and I don't blame her, but this is my second Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimension 3, I think, or whatever it is the case, but this eyeshadow palette, it's perfection. If you're looking for an all matte eyeshadow palette, I think makeup artists will make the most out of it. I mean, you have a cream kind of tone, then you have your black shade. I love that the layout of this palette where you have your warmer tones on the top and then your cooler tones at the bottom. You see right here, this is what I was saying about the Huda Beauty palette. Patrick Tab brings us a black cream eyeshadow and also a brown cream eyeshadow. And perhaps that's that's something that to me, the Huda Beauty palette was missing. Not that it makes it incomplete, but something not even missing. It would have been a plus, you know, a, just, just a plus. But yes, this eyeshadow palette is beautiful. If you're a person that just likes to go more for a all matte eyeshadow look in a daily basis and from time to time, like, oh, whenever, you know, like you want a single eyeshadow just to tap in the middle and give that little bit of a oomph to your eye look. I think this palette will be a great addition to your collection. And then the last eyeshadow is a single eyeshadow and this one is from Chanel. I'm so impressed about this formula. This is a loose eyeshadow. So it comes with this little nub right here. I will, I mean, you can definitely apply it directly to your eyelids with this applicator, but you can also use your brush, tap it a little right here. This formula is chef's kiss. It will create a filter on your eyelids. It's so thin, almost imperceptible in terms of like the thickness of it, the texture of it, because it doesn't have texture. It doesn't add any texture. It just filters your skin. It does have, even when they are supposed to be mostly like matte eyeshadows, they do have a certain sheen to it that they look like silk. And even though the formulation is extremely, extremely thin, it doesn't fade. So this will last you throughout your entire day. You're not gonna find any fallout, any fading. You can build up the pigmentation. You can use them wet too. And I have a full demo about this eyeshadow. And sometimes I feel so sad that these do not get more hype. I know Chanel and you're like, Chanel doesn't need more hype, right? Chanel, Chanel and Chanel always stands no matter what. But there are some formulations that they really need to be that center of attention because of the quality that you're receiving and you're receiving a lot of product right here that I'm sure I mean if you're a makeup artist you most likely have discovered these and you're in love with this as much as I am one of my favorite categories you know my friends is everything about lips and this is not a new product to me but I cannot miss the opportunity to mention that I love my lips to look plump 
to look juicy, to look just beautiful and shiny. And I love a good lip plumper. I love a really good balm, but I don't like the pain. <laughs> I run away from the pain. I have very sensitive skin and I just tried, I will say a little bit over a month ago, that La Mer lip treatment, volumizing, plumping, volumizing, I don't even know the name, but this thing right here, it's, I mean, like, I, I feel like why I never knew about this baby. And this makes such a big of a difference from your lips to looking dry, chap, perhaps not the best, and they need to look fuller. You just put a little bit of this and no pain, no nothing. All of a sudden, your lips will look even. And in fact, the thing that I love the most about this product is that the shade of my lips, it looks even. So it does have really this conditioning effect that brings out the shade of your lips and even set out in a very nice way. There's no redness, rim, or nothing of that. In that lip treatment area, the U Beauty, the Plasma Lip Compound, I have it right here in the shade Sunset, is super thin in consistency. And the name says it, it feels like a plasma. It's very thin thin, light, kind of like a melted balm, but in the most soft and sophisticated way. Very beautiful. It leaves your lips very nice and shiny. Give your lips this comfort. It also lasts more than most lip balms. And I really love also the cooling applicator because it just helps out if you have any type of soreness on your lips. Perhaps your lips are chapped. This will help a lot to pamper your lips. The hype is real. <laughs> Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm. It is a great balm. It's, a, it's thicker than a regular balm, thicker than the Plasma by You Beauty. I love the pigmentation. It's super even. I love that it doesn't slip and slide from your face everywhere. It just looks very beautiful and it gives such a gorgeous shine to the lips. I also love the smell. I'm just so in love with this lip bottle balm and I always have one in my bag. Now, I'm so happy they changed the formulation of this Hermes Lip Enhancer because the previous formula was okay, but now this formula is amazing. And this shade in particular, Rose Confetti, oh, is just in another level. It, it's kind of like the La Mer in terms that, it, no, it's not gonna plump your lips, but it evens out your lip shade. This product makes your lips look even better, like so even, so smooth, that pinky tone that, you see, like when it's the right pinky tone, it gives that youthful look to the lips. To me, it's kind of like a melted lip oil, but without being too melty that you know that it was <laughs> just a start bleed all over the place. And one lip oil that I haven't given enough love during this year, and it has been reformulated, is the one by Clarence. And oh my gosh, if you wanna have glass lips, this will give it to you. And this shade in particular, don't be afraid because since it's a lip oil, it does carry some, some pigmentation, but not too much that it will give you this exact shade. It will just make your lips look so beautiful. And again, with that glass shine. The Satin Lipsticks by Hourglass, these conquer my heart. They do have full opacity. They are not thick. One swipe and you will get exactly the shade that you want. I think you can select any shade and you will be so happy with it. Alpine is one of my favorite ones. Same thing with oh what is the name tide oasis i have it right here too pretty formula a classy kind of satin lipstick one of those you know they remind me a lot to the ones from gucci very alike to those that you know you can trust because the pigment is even the consistency is Thing. They don't gather on the fine lines of the lips. They just look super even. Kind of in the same vein, but even thinner in consistency is this baby by Christian Louboutin. This is a new formula and wow, if I'm impressed because the formula is, again, full opacity, but you can build it as much as you want. So you can go one pass and go very light layer, but even layer two passes, a little bit more, and so forth, and never looks too thick, too um, forced, or just like, 
you know, like when it looks chunky and you know it's going to start going inside your mouth and creating that white ring that just looks disgusting. Oh, no, this is nothing of that. And plus, ladies, you're also getting a weapon included with a lipstick. Another reformulation, Clé de Peau, and their liquid lipsticks. I really love the creme formulation, the one that is more of a melted satin lipstick. Wow, if these lipsticks will give you the shine. I mean, the lips, they look like vinyl, but very comfortable. It's a little bit thicker, the consistency, yet doesn't feel like you're caring too much. You know, some products, sometimes they give that extra weight on your lips that you're just like I'm not up for that at all and whatsoever and the pigment is just phenomenal some of my favorite shades is 201 and 206 a totally new formula from tone 4 liquid matte and you know I'm one of those that tells me something is matte and liquid and I just like you see me run away through the heels it's like bye I love lipsticks, but I'm very cautious with liquid lipsticks because I don't want anything that is drying. And this is by far a superior formulation, full opacity, super thin, comfortable, long lasting, never drying. Your lips, they look plush and beautiful and has that cloudy kind of effect. They are just so fantastic. I wish they will come in more shades. They have a ton of like reddish kind of shades which are gorgeous too but I would love for them to extend their nudie tones. This is a gorgeous. I know it's very hard to see because of this frosted glass but it's more of like a pinky nude tone. Oh my gosh it just looks so gorgeous. It even makes your lips look fuller which is something that I enjoy so much much and I know a lot of us I mean I should include myself when there's a little bit more wind I actually enjoy wear matte lipsticks that I will not find that my hair is like blowing into you know a lip gloss or a lip balm and just getting it stuck in there and this formula makes all the difference there is a new and very special formulation from Dior and this is a liquid formula that is a hybrid between a matte liquid lipstick that power of like a stain in there and then an ultra shiny vinyl like lipstick uh, if you like the La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue by Chanel, you're going to love this lipstick because this is the two products in one. Basically, you apply it, you will see the shine on your lips. In seconds, this lipstick will set. It will leave that shine. You can kiss, you can drink, you can do whatever you want, and the shine will be still there. There are very few shades, though, and even nude look, to my surprise, nude looks always is a very classic nudie pinky shade. This is a little bit more pigmented than your classic nude look, but what is important right here is wow the impressive finish the shine the beauty that it will not transfer i mean I'm, I'm talking about a shiny lipstick that doesn't transfer and it stays all day the only thing that perhaps is a caveat on this baby is when you apply it you're going to feel a little bit at least myself of a tingling almost alcohol kind of sensation like if you're panning alcohol on your lips something like that which is a little bit of a weird sensation it only lasts two to five seconds at the most and then it completely dissipates and you don't feel absolutely anything and it doesn't dry your lips but it's a sensation that i wanted to mention because to me at first it took me by surprise i'm like oh is it plumping no it's not plumping i think it's just part of the formula. Since we're in the terms of Dior, Dior, if you're listening to me, which I doubt, <laughs> please bring back this baby, okay? This is a limited edition case, but this is also a limited edition shade, Jardin Doré. I think it's 211. It's on the lipstick shines. I think this is one, if not my favorite formula from Dior and their lipsticks. I mean, their lipsticks are fantastic lip oils lip maximizers i mean you name it they have absolutely everything but this shade it just gives a shine to your lip is that a special shine kind of like a j-lo vibe you know that is not a metallic but it just creates this illusion that your lips are plump i don't know it's a je ne sais quoi that they need to bring at least back this shade as well it will be ideal if they bring back this gorgeous gorgeous case i have to tell you that these ysl candy glaze lipsticks 
and they are not new. They launched last year, and I, I don't know why I kept saying like, oh yeah, I will try it, I will try it, I will try it, and I didn't try them until this year. And oh my gosh, I just hats off to YSL. What a beautiful formulation! It hacks your lips. It give. That's the lipstick that I have right now. It, it's a, it's not a little bit of lipstick. It's a balm with full pigment, full opacity. Now it doesn't go as dark as it seems on the actual tube. It goes a little bit lighter because yet again it's a balm. But how beautiful it makes your lips look, and you know that yet again it's a lip balm. So it's taking care of your lips. It's hydrating your lips. It's just nourishing your lips while you're wearing them, I and mean, they come in so many different selections. I, I'm just so impressed and so much so that I have been adding so many to my, my collection. I do have, I just started first with one, then I added two more. I made a reel. Um, it didn't went viral, but it had a lot of you, more than almost, I think, 15,000 views or something like that. I, I mean, I even put it in a reel on my Instagram and on my TikTok and it got so many views. And then I got a couple more already too because they are just so special the way that they hug your lips that you know that it's a lip balm but that it's not gonna run again i'm against everything that it will bleed outside my lips mostly if i'm applying a lip balm because usually with lip balms not all the time but sometimes you know we're running out of the house and perhaps we're not putting a full face of makeup we're not really putting any lip liner but you have that lip balm on your purse and you want to apply it and make sure it doesn't bleed and i mean these are just they just hack your lips they just they just say come here baby i take care of you the only new mascara from this year that really has blown me away is Hermes. This Hermes mascara. Wow, 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 wow. It makes your lashes super plush. When I say plush, that means like, I don't know, but it's if I feel like I have more lashes than I actually have naturally. <laughs> it just amplifies them. They look beautiful. They look separated. They actually stay up like this, like perky. They are up there and beautiful and they don't look like a spider legs. It combs the lashes, but it does it in a very elegant way. And you know, this is a trend that we're gonna see in 2024. We're gonna see a lot of like pop colors here and there, and they can be a pop eyeshadow or it can be a pop mascara. And Hermes is bringing it to us, both on their eyeshadows and also on their mascaras, because the mascaras from Hermes, they don't only come in black and brown, but also in blue, green, I think even purple. I mean, so many different colors. And these are fun, but the formula is divine you know when when the mascara is not too liquidy that you know is it, it could transfer and it's not too dry that you know it's going to start flaking it's just a perfect medium i, I mean i'm just like <laughs> Hermes, you did it you literally did it and no this video is not a sponsored and this video is not my attempt for me to get a birkin no because tomorrow or you're not gonna want to miss that next video that is the worst of 2023 and it is a special one so if you're not subscribed to my channel just yet and you're enjoying this video well subscribe ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and if you're enjoying the video well give it a thumbs up <laughs> so anyhow friends this is a mascara that i will highly suggest if it has been on your wish list don't wait too long you're gonna love it oh and in addition the way that you can remove it you don't even need like a special cream or something like that a little bit of warm water and it will just dissolve by itself now you're gonna be like oh then it's a tubing mascara it's not a tubing mascara i know isn't it that crazy well 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 i mean like it's too many things to just tell you how good is this mascara it shouldn't be a surprise for anybody i think hourglass does it <laughs> In purpose but every year the hourglass palettes they are part of the best of the best of the year but it is because the quality of hourglass is something that we cannot deny in the year powders they give that filtered ethereal strobe effect that is candle it just makes up your makeup going from here to here it just has something very special but i think in particular the face palettes of this year they are more complete i mean definitely the medium one 
is the palette meant for my skin tone. It's one that I can use it all year round. I'm using as a setting powder in this shade right here. I try to use most of the products on my face, but obviously I couldn't use them all. And I know that I mentioned that all of them will be in the description box below. I also will be leaving a link. Now, most of my links, if not all of my links, are affiliate links. I do have a lot of discount codes with certain brands, so I will be leaving it there. But what I was gonna say is that through this link, you're gonna see my favorites, not only my favorites of the year, my favorites of the past, my favorite skincare, my favorite hair care, and my favorite fashion pieces too. So it's kind of like a shelf kind of thing that you can see all the products in one. You can just look at them. If you don't wanna shop through my links, that's okay. You do you, at least you can see the products with easy to you. So that link will be also listed on the description box below now if you want more of like a fairy tale kind of palette um i know it doesn't come on the owl compact but it is the lightest palette of the bunch these kind of have that little bit of a frost kind of effect very beautiful very ethereal if i feel like if tinkerbell has come and just like oh you know let me see sprinkle you some pixie dust when i'm talking about pixie dust i'm not talking about glitter i'm not talking about shimmer i'm not talking about like oh weirdness here no i'm just talking about magic and then this color story right here is beautiful to me and my point of view and the way that i will use it is mostly during the summertime i think these shades are phenomenal and here you go the beauty about this formulation too is that you can apply more build up on pigmentation and all that just one mention right here that i have to say is like why in the world hourglass brought this palette it's called the sculpt and set for a limited edition in the middle of the year I never came back I was just having high hopes that it will have come back for the holiday season I don't know surprise here you have it no it didn't if you got lucky and got it well you were lucky friends I'm almost running out of sun so we need to rush and this year has been the year of blushes although this blush really didn't came out in the market in 2023 it came out in the market in the u.s market in 2023 therefore i'm going to mention it is that givenchy please livre blushes i'm actually using poplin violin which is more of like a rosewood with pinky tone i'm obsessed in love with uh, Mousseline Lilas, which is a perfect Barbie kind of shade, but it also has a little bit of a lilac undertone that is subliminal. I really love that they are not flat matte, that they do have a little bit of a slight silky kind of sheen to them. There's no shimmer, but there's just a little bit of a very soft, hydrated kind of a skin effect, which is what we want. At least I want that on my skin. I don't want my skin to look flat matte. I want my skin to have life and that looks like I'm normal, you know, that my skin is breathing and that I'm alive. And then on the other cheek I have, now this is not a new formula. This is a formula from last year and this year I decided to try the rms blushes and what a great surprise and in one of my cheeks i'm using this baby called Kier royale can you guess which cheek i'm using it to i'm sure i think i'm gonna put some clips here and there <laughs> so you can see where i'm using what but anyhow friends what a beautiful formulation they do have a slight sheen I like to illuminizer, but not quite illuminizer. There's no shimmer to them, but they just bring life to the skin and they are appropriate for any age. Like I said, more than mature skin, I do have experienced skin. And with experienced skin, Mm, there's certain things that I don't want to emphasize, but because I have the experience, I can tell you exactly what I want to emphasize with my makeup. Liquid blushes, I think the only ones are these ones by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Mad Beauty Blush Ones. The one that I'm using today is the one in Pillow Talk. It's a shade that it's a no-brainer. It has the perfect amount of pink, um, but it is also a little bit more neutral in tone one that I absolutely love and actually when I first tried it it was my least favorite one is Dream Pop which is a red tone but 
oh wow if it really impressed me mostly on the summertime it just brings those kind of like apple cheeks i actually did the strawberry makeup look that was so in during the summertime with this baby and it looks just so magical and obviously the staying power that it has is beautiful but don't be afraid about them because they are easy to blend in fact you can just tap it and they are not going to dry and stain your cheeks you actually have time to blend them and they blend seamlessly now how to do not mention this beautiful blush by chanel fantasy du chanel there is a something something of this blush that i can just certainly do cannot explain it does have some coral to it some pink it has some icy tone in it it blends like a dream limited edition i'm not going to talk that much but i wanted to include it right here because it will be a disservice not to do so also Giorgio armani came out with new blushes and wow they did wonderful with their blushes they are more um well they actually have two different finishes some of them they are more like a cloudy kind of like soft matte finish demi matte kind of finish 51 it is my favorite shade on that finish and then they also have one that looks more like the rms blushes where there's a little bit of a sheen they are not heavy very easy to blend to and the shade that i love is 50 i think it's many other shades but do you see that flip of that shade again not a highlighter not even a luminizer but they just give bring life to the cheek talking about luminizers and highlighters tone four in terms of luminizers these are really sheer so they just bring glow like your skin looks a little bit more wet more than anything that doesn't really look like you have a heavy amount of makeup on these are from the soleil Nesh collection from the holiday season in the shades both grand paradis and rosy reset grand paradis is the one that i'm using right now and it's more of like your very natural kind of highlighter luminizer the rosy one it has a little bit more of that ethereal look like say the ones from hourglass from the lighter i mean edit palette and i have to truly mentioned that new highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This deserves an applause. This is better than the Amrisi highlighter. The Amrisi highlighter, it had its time, it had its moment, but it had another type of formula. You could really see the stripe of highlighter with the one from Amrisi. This one is not the same shade. It's a close, close shade, but not exactly the same, I'm sure. I mean, there's some legalities that she cannot do the exact same shade, but this is far superior in terms of formulation. I love, love, love this highlighter. And this is a true highlighter. It, it's nothing that I will say, oh, it's a natural glow from within because it's not. But if you are more into a highlighter, true highlighter, I think this formula is this was the year of concealers and although none of them debunk my favorite concealers but i have to tell you that i love the house labs concealer it does have a really good amount of coverage it has a little bit of a thicker consistency it works beautifully and it doesn't emphasize the fine lines same thing with the gucci one gucci one doesn't have as much coverage as the one from house labs but same amount of hydration and what i like about the gucci one is how stretchy it is you can actually you know laugh and smile and all of that and the concealer just move not that it migrates somewhere else but it actually just move with your expressions and therefore it just carries on really well and it doesn't wear off i'm mean, like you can have a 12 hour day and you can trust a lot on this concealer you will definitely if you have the dark under eyes little curls that i do have you will need a color corrector no matter what with these two concealers but in general for most people you most likely you don't have the panda bear <laughs> under eyes that i do have so these two for me are like wow and also the one from tom ford this is kind of like the same love relationship that i have with the tom ford traceless stick foundation it's so good it's not about me not too creamy it stays put, it looks flawless, it looks supernatural, yet it does have a little bit of that moisturizing kind of effect without gathering on the fine lines. It lasts throughout the entire day. So to me, these three concealers right here, you will not go wrong. And it's also one of those concealers that plays really well, that kind of game of like, 
do you have makeup but you don't have makeup you know what i mean like it, it's not noticeable like for example with these concealers right here unless you use like for example with the gucci one if i use it all over the face it can come flush really well to be like okay you don't have concealer on but otherwise like say with the house labs because it does have more coverage I mean, I do have to have not a full face of a strong makeup, but I need to have more makeup. While the one from Tom Ford, you have a little bit of that given of like, okay, you can just do little touch-ups and it doesn't really show like you have makeup, although you have somewhat of coverage. Let's talk about foundations. You know, my friends, I have been going strong with the Hourglass Veil. This is a skin tint. Absolutely in love. This will give you a glow that is beautiful, it's not too much, it doesn't feel greasy. It give a little bit of coverage, enough to really even now your complexion. Now, if you want something that is full coverage, that it just leave your skin look perfect, like kind of like a mannequin, but take it in a good way. It doesn't look unnatural. It looks very like perfected skin. You know, like having baby skin that is just that perfect, but it's, I mean, it looks like a skin is the one from Carlin Terracotta Letang. This is a gorgeous foundation. To me, a foundation that is more for those days that you really want to go for a full glam, then you use this. If you like full coverage kind of foundations, you will love this foundation. Now, two foundations that really like, oh, take my breath away, is a Clay de Paul Cushion Foundation. This looks so natural. It does have a slight radiance that is just so beautiful. And it actually meshes with the skin so beautifully. And one that is very alike to this foundation, but with much more coverage, you need to use less product and it does have that same hydration perhaps not as radiant as the one from clay depot but it's the one by christian louboutin and this is a balm foundation i really love to apply it they both they come with the applicators um i like the applicator of the clay depot the applicator from this one is not like yeah stuff i mean it's good but i rather apply it with just a damp sponge but such beautiful foundations i actually have one on one side and one on the other side. Do you want to guess which one it is? <laughs> Do you want to guess? Because they look pretty much the same, right? I mean, by the description, you may perhaps know which one is which. Um, but yeah, these foundations are so gorgeous, so beautiful. They have that same property of cushion foundations that they just mesh with the skin so well. The one from Christian Louboutin will give you more coverage than the one from Clay Depot, but it just even sells so perfectly and they don't feel heavy on the skin. The only setting powder that has impressed me this year is this one by Chantecai. It's a Radiant Blur Setting Powder. It has kind of a little bit of a pinky undertone. Now you're gonna ask me, Jacqueline, what happened with the Givenchy Loose Setting Powder? That is not new. That is not new and I have been raving it for a few years now. It is a great loose setting powder, but if you want something perhaps very alike to it and in a compact, then this one is it. The only thing is, Chantecai, this, this is a limited edition. This is from the holiday collection. Uh, we need to let our voice hear out and be like, <laughs> bring it, bring it back and bring it to be permanent because this is an amazing powder, a brightening powder, a thin powder that it has that ethereal kind of finish, filtered, beautiful, non-heavy, non-cakey, everything that I look for in a powder and I'm sure everything that you look for in a powder. Bronzers, Hermes did it again oh my goodness Hermes is coming strong with their beauty line they are not playing they are coming in slowly I mean this is the fourth year that they had to come out with a product and they have done an amazing job these bronzers they do have three different shades so what it does it just creates dimension because let's be honest when you go with foundation you just basically get your canvas in just one shade and then you need to bring back that dimension and these bronzers they do they do have more of like a soft matte borderline a little bit radiant kind of finish not too much it looks literally airbrush they come in so many different shades and again i love how dimensional they are because you have a little bit of warm tone cool tone and neutral tone 
all in one palette. The much awaited Pat McGrath bronzers, they came in this year and I think the bar was raised so high. There was so much expectation and I think that perhaps for some people she didn't hit the expectations but after trying this bronzer for months, I have to tell you that the finish is beautiful. My favorite shade of these bronzers is Desert Glow. It does have a subtle glow, kind of like a not really golden, but just a touch golden undertone to it that makes it look lively. And they blend beautifully as well. So really good job. They are creamy, they are non-powdery, and they do have a little bit of that um, blurring kind of effect to the skin that, again, it just give that very nice airbrush kind of application too and on this area right here for example i do have the most texture because of the sun damage and this is specific bronzer and all the other bronzers that i'm going to mention too they do not emphasize that a little bit more creamier than that without being a cream is that surat bronzer what a pleasant surprise my gosh the amount of emollients on this bronzer there's no no chance of error for application of this bronzer. Beautiful, airbrush, soft, incredible. And then the last bronzer, this is not perhaps a new formula. This bronzer from Chantecaille, we saw it with the Positano collection. It's also called Serena, but it's not the Serena from the permanent collection, which is extraordinary and amazing. But if you want something a little bit more golden goddess kind of vibe, this is it. I think it's actually sold out or perhaps even out of a stock. If I find it, I will certainly link it. But if you want something like that golden goddess kind of bronze, like the Tom Ford golden bronzer, because it just creates kind of this candlelight bronze kind of effect. It's stunning. Primers, this one by Gucci. Wow, 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 wow. You can use it all alone. It's super hydrating, super long lasting. Again, you can use it all alone and it will just kind of like even out your skin tone. Like if you have a little bit of redness or if you just want to give a little bit of a glow to your skin, don't, don't think do not think it's a highlighter. It's not at all and whatsoever. It's not going to add any pigment. I know it seems like it has pigment right here, but it really doesn't. And it just gives so much hydration to your skin. You can use it like on your high points or your cheeks too, if you want to kind of create that glass wet dolphin kind of effect. But again, without any pigment, even though it seems like it has pigment. For full hydration and to prep your skin, I think it's super important to do not go with your skin that is dry and patched or even if you have combination skin, you know, those people that have combination skin, you can also have dehydrated skin. And I, Charlotte Tilbury, she did an incredible job with her new magic water cream. This is more, not really a gel cream and not even a moisturizing. It's exactly what I tend to go for, more of something that is hydrating more than moisturizing because sometimes something that is too moisturizer, what it will do is just, it, it will just make your makeup sleep and slide and not wear really well this one is all the opposite and is a good cream to prep before makeup now if you want something um like say two for one right charlotte tilbury and the gucci one i would highly suggest consider the chanel glowy makeup primer this is a moisturizing primer but again it doesn't feel really like a moisturizer but rather as a nice hydrator with a little bit of like a pearly kind of effect so that it will just show through your foundation talking about chanel from the numero 1 de chanel these enhancers and wow now these will give you moisture to your skin and it just gives more than that pearly kind of effect with a moisturizing property i use them in so many different ways i use them as a primer i use them as a liquid kind of bronzer because it's just you know give that bronzy kind of effect in fact i do have i think it's intense amber on my skin right now and these are magical to me i mean you don't need to buy the three of them it happened to be that i review the the three shades to see obviously not only the formula but to see the shades and I ended up just so in love with this product that I decided to keep them all and I'm just so happy about it because these are one of my very favorite primers that are multi-use. Okay my friends and this makes it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I lost completely light. I mean I'm seeing right now the sunset. I hope that you enjoy this best of 2023. I hope I don't forget about anything. I mean regardless like I said 
I stand by all my monthly favorites, all the products that I had mentioned before. I have enjoyed them so much. They perhaps didn't make it to this list because I was just trying to be very nitpicky to make sure I just included those new formulas that really bring something new to the table because there's such a great amount of makeup product that launch daily that I really want to spotlight those that they really, 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 really super, super, duper, 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 duper impressed me that they most likely, I mean, you have seen me wearing most of these products continuously and some of them they have already become holy grails okay my friends and do not forget tomorrow you're gonna see the worst of 2023 get ready for it it's gonna be a special one because it's gonna be in collaboration with someone not a brand but with someone and that makes me super excited so make sure you're subscribed to my channel with that post notification bell on so you don't miss any of my uploads also again if you like this video help me out to grow the family by giving it a thumbs up share with family and friends if you're on instagram and tiktok come and follow me there if you're not done watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day a dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, snowflakes in my head, carols playing in the air. A dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights. Red